So I've been a data analyst for about seven months, which is kind of hard to believe. But what does a data analyst actually do? I could just start telling you all the things I use in my daily job or some of my daily tasks or what a week looks like for me. But honestly, it wouldn't make too much sense without a little bit of context. My actual job title is population health analyst and I work for an insurance company. Now an important distinction to make is that even though my role is a data analyst or I'm an analyst, if I were to be an analyst in almost any other field, I would probably not be doing anywhere close to the same thing I'm doing now. Let me explain. So if I were to work for Netflix, or if I knew somebody who worked for Netflix as a data analyst, their day-to-day -day tasks would be a lot different than mine. Because in order to be a data analyst at Netflix, you need to learn the system at Netflix, you need to understand the data flow behind the scenes, you need to understand what are the business applications and business questions that you actually need to answer. Now, I could probably take anybody from Netflix, even if they're a high level, and if they have no background in health insurance, and if they have no back background in population health, they could come into my job and they probably wouldn't be able to do it, at least without extensive training. Now, likewise, and vice versa, if I were to go over to Netflix, I don't think I could be a data analyst there without a lot of training. Now, sure, there's new hires that come in all the time, but it usually takes at least a month, if not longer, in order to even begin to do real analysis and real work. You really need to get better understanding of the business that you're working for as a data analyst. So now that we have that context out of the way, what actually is a population health analyst? So dealing with health insurance, there's a lot of data that comes from hospitals. There's a lot of data that comes from research. There's a lot of data that we have from members at the insurance company. Now, obviously there's other data sources, but these are the three main ones. And so my job as a population health analyst is to take these different sources of data, all dealing with health or conditions or certain programs that us as a health insurance or a hospital that works with us has. We need to combine all this information together and we do different things with that. Now there are different teams with different levels of analysts, but here's kind of the three main ones that I work with. There's one that assesses opportunity for new programs to exist that may help our population get healthier or less costly. There's teams that then take those plans and analyze how they can actually implement them to be most effective, picking the right members, picking the right locations, understanding the laws behind pushing one of those programs out. And then there's teams that take those programs once they're actually implemented and determine whether or not they're actually providing the savings or making the population healthier as a result of implementing that program. So like I said, you need to have a lot of information about those programs, about the population, about what actually constitutes healthy or low cost, and how that relates to a member's demographic information, such as their age or such as their demographic or what condition they have. Are they actually doing better or worse based on that program? Now, this also provides a lot of areas that assist data analysts. Obviously, we have data analysts. I work with actuaries. I work with research statisticians. Now, I'm not completely aware of all the work that other teams do. I'm just simply too new. And the company that I work for is just too big to understand what everybody does. But basically, everybody comes together in the analytics sphere and they answer questions related to those three areas. Maybe this is what you were waiting for, but I think all that context is super important to understand what a data analyst actually does. You need to understand what industry they work for. But here's what I actually use on a daily basis. Oh, hey, real quick, I forgot to mention. If you want to learn more about how I became a data analyst and how other people are becoming data analysts too, check out the two links in the description. One's to my newsletter where I send out occasional emails with more information, and the second one's to the Discord where there's a huge community of people who are pretty active in there and talk about their journey through statistics majors to becoming data analysts. So check those out and back to the video. So as of lately, it's been basically all R. Now for all you statistics students, I know there's a few who watch the channel. This is probably good news, I hope because R is pretty awesome. Previously, I've also worked a ton with Tableau to make visualizations and build dashboards. I build dashboards in R, I do analysis in R. I also use SQL on the daily to pull data. And honestly, as a data analyst, you're gonna have many different hats. Sometimes you're gonna be building dashboards, sometimes you're going to be building an actual analysis or report, and then sometimes you're gonna be acting more as a data engineer, and you might have to actually configure a database to make sense and be efficient. Other analysts I work with use other tools different than R. They also use Excel for some basic analysis. They use SAS for analysis. Other teams use Python mainly. It really depends on what the application is of what you're doing. Hopefully though, you can find a company that is flexible in what you can use, especially when it comes to open source like Python or R. So in terms of what I actually do on a daily basis, build dashboards. Sometimes I'll have a one-off report that I need to get done within that week. 
Sometimes I'm building databases. Most of the time I'm just pulling from them. But basically at the end of the day, I'm just answering questions in terms of bringing in data, finding the correct data to answer a question, putting that in a format that is easily understandable by business users and presenting that to stakeholders. So now you know what I do as a data analyst, but if you want to see how I actually got the job, check this video out next. Thanks for watching.